Vegan Gorillas. I'm your boy, Chef Perry, the Vegan Gorilla. Welcome to the Vegan Gorilla cooking show uh, today. Weather's getting nicer out there, getting some sunshine. Time for some uh, good side dishes like salads and stuff. So today I'm going to make a nice uh, creamy macaroni salad. And uh, be good for any kind of, uh, actually it's good just to have on its own, or you can have it as a side with anything else you're serving. So basically what I did is got a cup of elbow, mac, uh, elbow pasta noodles and uh, cooked them. Now what I like to do is after I cook it and drain it, I let it sit for a little bit because what happens is it tends to get more sticky, which is better because then the cream stuff that we put in, the vegan cream stuff that we put in is going to be uh, stick to it a little bit better. So let's get started. All right, so I got my bowl of macaroni. That was one cup of uh, macaroni elbows uncooked, uh, but we did this quite a bit, as you can see. And then here I have the vegan mayo substitute tofu uh, special dill sauce mayo that I made, and creamy, creamy mayo. And that was in the previous video I made, so uh, I have that still from in the fridge. And so we're going to put this in there. There's about a quarter cup in this. I'll have all the ingredients in the list below, and then you can uh, look on my food blog so you can print it at the vegan gorilla there.com. So please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on this stuff and click a like and all that good stuff. So let's go. Let's put this in. Stick around because I'm going to put a secret ingredient in this too that's going to kick it up a little notch. Just a little notch. So this one, nice and creamy thick. Actually, I'm going to use a spatula because. I don't want to waste any of this. Put that all in there. Put it out. Good, good, good. Okay, so now I got about a quarter of uh, red pepper. I chopped it into small little pieces. They're about quarter inch by quarter inch each. So very tiny, your typical macaroni, cold macaroni salad. Get some green. Bell pepper, same quarter inch by quarter inch. <clears throat> Excuse me, put that in there. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of sea salt. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with half a teaspoon. That's uh, it's only a couple cups there. Then we're going to go with a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon of dried onions. And let's make that two tablespoons. Teaspoons, two teaspoons of dried onions. Maybe try the minced onions. Uh, don't leave that out because it really helps kick up things a little bit. So then we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon, maybe just a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Well, that's optional, obviously, you don't have to put that in there. Fresh black cracked pepper. Two crispy dabs. All right, the most important ingredient, a little bit of love. That's right, a little bit of love, better be love. Now let's give it a little mix. Stir it up and see what see what happens. And don't forget, I got that secret ingredient. It's coming still, so give it a little taste test, see if we need a little more salt or, or whatnot. But another little tip too is before you actually, when you make this and before you serve it, try to give it a chance to plant it a little bit and give it a chance to uh, sit in the fridge for about an hour, let it chill. Let it chill out a little bit and uh, all those flavors will come together really good and it allows the, uh, the minced onions to, to rehydrate because they're dehydrated. So that allows it to rehydrate and really give you that flavor pop in there. So we'll do a little quick taste test to make sure we get enough salt and pepper in there. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, ready for the second ingredient? I'll bring it back. Pickle juice, a little bit of pickle juice. Not too much, but just enough. We're gonna go with one tablespoon. 
Now again, this is optional. I know what I like in mine, but an actual macaroni uh, that you buy at the store, the creamy one, it actually has sugar in it, um, some vinegar in it, and some preservatives and all this stuff. So this is nice and fresh. Can't go wrong. Look at that. Looking good. So I'm going to put this in the fridge. Put it in the fridge for about an hour. For about an hour, I'll come back, do a little uh, taste test, judging on my gorillas, one to five, five being the best. And uh, let's see what happens. See you in an hour. Hello, gorillas. I am back. About an hour has passed. We let the uh, macaroni chill in the fridge for about an hour. So I just put it on a little plate, a little presentation, put it in the cup, upside down, a little smoked paprika around it, the top. Well, let's give it a chance. Let's give it a try! Can we? I don't want to break it all this way. All right, let's get some of the peppers in there. Hmm. Mmm. That was good. Wow. Texture is just right with the uh, macaroni with the pasta on there. Not, uh, I didn't overcook it so it's not soft and mushy and it's got just a little bit of uh, dental dente in there, just a little bit. So it's just about right. Obviously cook the pasta to whatever um, texture you like. But uh, it, with, the, with that sauce in there that, that I made the other day, that, uh, that garlic mayo, oh my goodness. Really good, that tofu stuff, it's really good. It's, so, I mean, you can see that stuff is very versatile, a lot of different things. Um, your your friends and family love it taste to me just like macaroni from what I remember, now it's been nine years, but uh, that's really good. A little bit of smoked fruit on top of that, just nice. So uh, I'm gonna give this a uh, five out of five gorillas. Oh yeah. Now I would have gave it a four, but that pickle juice, that pickle juice just hmm, gives that little bit of fermentation in there, that little bit of extra zip. And it's very subtle, but you can taste it. Um, very little, but you can taste it. Now you can put more in if you want, depends on how you like it, but uh, this is awesome. So this is a great dish on its own, great for an appetizer, great as a side dish, especially in the, in the summer coming here with barbecues and stuff. Vegan meat, or whatever you do. But anyways, it's it's really good. You can't go wrong with this. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a like if you like it, and uh, I'll see you next time. So if I don't see you again, or when I do see you again, I'm good. Much luck. Be kind, to everyone. <laughs> I wish you could try it. See you later.